Hello, it's Heather. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make three different crafts. The first one is going to be a pumpkin sitting against what looks like a palette. So I'm going to start with these paint stir sticks and I actually got them in a package of 100 um, from Amazon very inexpensively. I can put that in the description box below. And I'm going to be placing them all in a row, alternating which side the little handle is on so that there's not a gap straight across it kind of every other one. And I used 14 total. Um, three of them were used on the back side like I'm showing here. And that will hold them all together. I'm using wood glue and I'm also using a glue gun. So after I get that done, I'm taking this pumpkin and I'm going to outline it on paper, um, just any kind of scrapbook paper that you think is pretty that could go on the front. And I did get this pumpkin from Dollar Tree. So I'm going ahead and just using some Mod Podge, putting the paper down on the pumpkin and then doing another coat of Mod Podge on top of that. And then I'm gonna paint this palette that I made. I'm going to just use a beige color, um, kind of a grayish beige. And I'm not going to give it a heavy coat because I want it to look worn and aged. And so I'm going to just kind of give it a sparse coat. Now I'm taking my Distress ink and distressing the edges of the pumpkin a little bit. And here you can see I'm wrapping some twine around the stem. That kind of gives you a shot of the pumpkin that I used from Dollar Tree also. And this little metal leaf was on it when I got it. So I took that off and I did put that back on. And now I'm just gluing it down with some more wood glue and hot glue onto our palette. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Our second craft is going to be a little bucket of pumpkins. And I saw this little pail at Dollar Tree and it's a metal bucket. It's got an orange handle on it and it's got a really cute print on it, but I decided to paint it so it would go better with my other decor. So I'm just giving it a coat of that same kind of taupey beige color that I used on the palette on the first project. I left the handle orange because it's gonna go with the orange and the pumpkins and everything. And then I took and cut out the words fresh pumpkin, five cents, and a little pumpkin on my Cricut. So here I'm putting on the letters individually because I didn't want to use the transfer tape on this just because I was having a hard time getting the black to cooperate for me. So I got it on eventually one by one. So if you don't have a Cricut, you can freehand it or you can use stickers. And then I'm putting a layer of Mod Podge over just so that it can protect the letters and they won't fall off. And now I'm just going to take a little of this brown color, which is nutmeg from Apple Barrel Paint. And I'm just going around and doing the edges and a little bit here and there so it looks like it's got some rust on it. 
didn't get too carried away. And then I'm going to be working on these pumpkins to fill our bucket. Now, I painted all of these aqua ones because originally I wanted them in with it. And then as I sat and looked at it for a few days, I decided I did not like the aqua ones in there. So I ended up taking them out, but I did leave the two orange ones and I got those from Dollar Tree also. And here you can see how I tucked in a couple other ones that were a lighter orange and I like those much better. What do you think? final project today is going to be a really cute sign that talks all about fall words. So I'm going to start with the back of a sign from Dollar Tree. Now you can use any kind of sign that you want. This one I used looked like it had different kind of wood planks on it. So it has a jagged edge on the top and the bottom that would look like different, different pieces of wood. So I went ahead and painted it brown and then I'm just going to lightly go back in and just kind of freehand where I think the line is where the wood piece went. So I'm going to kind of try to recreate that a little bit on this back side. So I just went in with a very little bit of light white paint on my brush and then I also took a damp paper towel and kind of wiped it as I went so it wouldn't be quite so bright of a white. And it doesn't have to be perfect because once we get everything on it, it'll be not as noticeable anyway. But I just wanted it to distinguish the fact that it was to look like wood. And I'm just going to kind of go back through and make it look a little more distressed by putting some little white variations throughout. I'm also going to go around the edges of the outside just to make them have a little more distinction. I'm starting to get braver using a paintbrush. It's daunting to me <laughs> but I'm slowly doing small things with it and I'm getting a little bit better so I'm just going around the edges and finishing them up and then I'm going to make those little variations along the boards like I mentioned just kind of very lightly kind of dry brushing some white on Then I took a piece that I did on my Cricut. I've got a bunch of fall words and then it says fall up on the left. It's gonna be on the left hand side. And so it says sweaters, harvest, flannel, bonfires and hay rides. So I got that put on. And then I'm attaching the little rope that came with it to hang it from. And then I'm just putting in some fall floral. I've got some leaves and some little pine cones and also these cotton balls. Now the cotton actually came from Dollar Tree and so did the pine cones. And they really have some pretty nice florals this year for their fall, all at Dollar Tree. So I'm getting those all finished off and I put a few more up top to cover the glue that I used to put those first pieces down. And I really think this turned out cute. I wasn't sure about it at first. I thought it might be too busy with the lines of the boards behind it, but I really, I ended up loving it. So which of these three was your favorite today? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, I appreciate you all so much. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye.